G'day folks, Rod from My Water Filter here today. And uh, I'm very excited today because uh, we're here to have a chat to Dr. Dingle. And uh, he's an amazing man. He's got a huge amount of uh, knowledge and uh, it's a pity there's a few more people on the planet like him. So uh, yeah, first up, just thanks for spending some time with us today. We very, very much appreciate uh, yourself. Um, we're into water, as you know. Um, so our topic today is going to be water and gut yep. health. Yep. Uh, we had a little chat on that. So if uh, you'd like to just tell the people a little bit about yourself, if you like to get okay. us rolling. A long time ago, I used to be a teacher. I travelled. I came back, become a born again student, and I, I did a, my second degree in environmental science. Um, I went on to do honours all about pesticide exposure in the home. So I, my first insight into our exposure to toxic chemicals. And I was just blown out of the water, how little we didn't know. And I then went on to do my PhD, all about toxins in the home, primarily a chemical called formaldehyde, but all its cousins and relatives and so on. And then we ran a research team for another 10 years at, at university, looking at all the aspects of the domestic environment and exposure to all of the toxins. So all the way through the air, through the food, through the water, through, you know, basically every way we could think of, we were just looking at and building. I started getting involved then into general health and then gut health. It's not just the, you know, the, the food and the water and all those things, but it's how your body reacts with it. It's not the chemicals in the air, but how they react with your body, your gut microbiome. I started to put together all my thoughts and ideas over the last 30 odd years, literally, um, to come to the conclusion that we need to look at every aspect of the things that we come in contact with. The air, our clothing, uh, you know, the food, the water, all of those things um, to understand you know, why we are so sick today. We've certainly got some issues, there's yeah. no doubt about that, and uh, gut health is a big problem that we've got, understand. And, the side of, you know, in, and, and on the other side of that is what can you do to improve that? What can you do to turn it around? And the first thing for me is always about education. I'm a scientist, I love reading scientific journals. People go, wow, get a life, Peter, will you get a life? But I love reading them because they're like puzzles. You read three or four on that area, three or four on that area, three or four on that area, and you go, wow, that's where they're all linked together. And then my second passion is communicating that with the public so they can then take action to do something about their health. Because look, there, there is no doubt the single biggest issue confronting Australia one way or another, yes, global warming, but it's also our health linked in with that. Yes. And our health is the single biggest thing that people need to be able to address and do. We did surveys decades ago of a thousand people and we always found that people were able to put off the environment and they were able to put off their health. At the end of the day, it's look, we've got all the time in the world to look after our health. It just has to be a priority. And that's what I love getting across to people. Your health is your priority. You cannot do anything without good health. 